So in this video I just wanted to put together something a little bit akin to a little bit akin to the Tosinabasi kind of tone uh, that you get on the plugin from Neural DSP. Um, so it's got like this blend thing, it's on the Henson plugin as well, but that's essentially blending in like an acoustic sim. So I'm going to start off with an amp and a cab. Um, we'll go with the litigator. I know Tosin uses a Morgan SW50 which may be kind of dumbbellish, 50 watt clean amp. And then speaker wise, that's commonly paired with a cream back. Um, I'm not sure if we've got anything obviously cream back, so I'm going to use another common dumbbell speaker, the EVM 12L. And then I think I'm going to add in a reverb, stereo reverb, and I'm going to use my new kind of one that I've been enjoying, the Plateau. Set that nice and high in the tone, and then the mix is fine there. I want to get rid of these pitch things, I don't want them to be affected in that way. And this one, go 0.20, and so what we get from that is... So I'm just going to save this so far. And the next thing I want to do is, I think, push the lows in here a bit. Uh, the litigator can kind of typically um, be fairly mild in the low end, so it's sometimes nice to give that a bit of a push, particularly through studio monitors. So we'll do that here. So 150 hertz It's that kind of heft thing that I've talked about a few times. We'll boost that by 10 dB. Okay, so we get... Uh, what else could we do? We could move that distance closer and maybe I might even use a condenser mic and some reflections, give some more kind of room sound. So that's kind of our bass tone. Now, we've got here this acoustic sim. And so what I'm gonna do is put this on path B and then drag the output there back to the reverb so that...
that's already quite surprisingly done more or less the job that I was expecting. So obviously we've got different settings here that we could try. So you could try piezo to be as close. <laughs> To what they say they're trying to achieve or you could use jumbo for a bit of a but that's yeah as I say already doing essentially the job that I was hoping that it would now we could use an A, B split here if we wanted to. Um, so you could kind of adjust this on the fly. Um, so we get more acoustic when we root to B. Or as we go the other way, get more of the typical electric guitar tone and you could adjust that via snapshots as well so what I might do is have this snapshot in the middle here where we get more of the acoustic tone but where we also increase the drive so that it's a more pronounced difference between the two tones so here we are here ah, hold on I need to set this up uh, so 60 is going to be the normal and then I press it in and turn it to rotate it back that way to an even split. So then I think you'll see that has quite a pronounced effect um, and then maybe we'll just add an even more driven one um, where it's going to be taking the treble down as well and this could be like a So the most important thing I would think would be to not send any drive down this particular split if you're, you know, chucking an EQ acoustic sim on there. Um, aside from that, I wouldn't say there's any particular rules, you know, this is kind of about experimental guitar tones. <laughs> As an effect so feel free to check that out I'll drop this preset into my folder if you wanted to check it out so as I say we've got an even split on a B we add a bit more drive but more acoustic and then on this one we're gonna kind of have more of a lead tone but with that sparkle added um, so yeah check that out we could also I guess add a compressor here um, or a drive on this um, path here uh, we could have a delay at the end um, but yeah Check it out. I'll catch you in another video soon and hopefully that was very useful. Feel free to like and or subscribe. Cheers.